Hello, I'm going to continue to read to you Billy the Bird. Chapter 2 Next morning I talked the whole thing over with my guinea pig, Mr Keylock. He's named after the greengrocer in whose shop we buy carrots and stuff for him. Both of them have big red moustaches. People say that animals can't talk. That's not true. Lots of them can, and guinea pigs are specially chatty. You've just got to learn all the different languages. I was so anxious to get Mr Keylock's opinion about what had happened that I didn't feed him straight away, as I usually do. I wanted to know what he thought. I was sure I would understand whatever he said. You nearly always can if you take the time to listen to animals properly. Now, for example, when I spoke to him, he chattered back at me and I was pretty sure that he was saying, Do you know that what Billy did last evening? I asked Mr Keylock. No, he said. He flew up to the ceiling. Oh, don't you think that's extraordinary? Yes. You'd think I should tell Mum and Dad. It's up to you. What's the matter with him this morning, I thought. He's not saying much. Then I realised I hadn't fed him yet. Would you like a carrot? <gasps> yes, 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 squeaked Mr Keylock. I thought you'd never ask. He tucked into that carrot so greedily that there wasn't much point in saying any more to him until he'd finished. Then he did. I said, it's a bit of a joke, Billy flying, isn't it? Considering his name, I mean. Our surname is Bird, you see. You must have been dreaming, Mr Keylock said. I wasn't. I'm, you must have been. Humans can't fly any more than pigs can, or guinea pigs. So I decide to, decided to ask Lily Leaf about it. Lily Leaf is our cat, rather old and very wise. And the first thing she said to me when I told her about Billy flying was, Does he know that he flew? I haven't asked him, I replied. Well, don't, said Lily Leaf, and don't tell him what happened. If he believes he can fly, he'll be jumping out of the window to try it. So I didn't say anything to my little brother about it. But every evening when I looked into his bedroom, I half expected, half hoped really, that he'd be floating up against the ceiling. But he never was. Not until Sunday the 20th of July. And this time he wasn't asleep. As soon as I came into the room, he called down to me from the ceiling. Look at me, Mary, he cried excitedly. I rushed to shut the window. Now Billy rolled over and then pulled with his arms and kicked with his legs, just like a swimmer, and flew all round the room. Just then, the cat came in and Billy called to her. Look at me, Lily Leaf, I'm flying. And he turned a somersault in the air. Then he swooped down and landed back on his bed, light as a feather. And he put his head on his pillow and shut his eyes and went straight back to sleep. The first time he flew, said Lily Leaf, the moon was full, remember? Yes, as it is now. You mean he can only do it at full moon? I think so, said Lily Leaf. It's only then that Billy can defy gravity. When's the next one? We went to my room and I looked in my diary that I kept, kept by my bed. The next full moon, I said, will be on Monday, August the 18th. Then that's when he'll fly next, said Lily Leaf. Usually the summer holidays whiz by, but now the time seemed to go oh so slowly as I waited for Billy's next scheduled flight. I did think again about telling Mum and Dad, but I could just imagine the conversation. Mum, Dad, I think I should tell you Billy can fly. Rubbish, said Dad. Don't be silly, darling, said Mum. But he can, honestly. We saw him, all of us, Lily Leaf, Mr Keylock and me. Mum said, you've been dreaming, Mar Mary. Only birds can fly. Dad started laughing. Don't forget, Billy is a bird. Me becoming impatient. 
but he can, he really can. And Mum and Dad together said, quite angrily, Oh, do stop it, Mary. Don't be so silly and try and be more truthful. Just be quiet, please. So I didn't say anything to them, but at least I could talk about it to the cat and the guinea pig. Lily Leaf was sure. Lily Leaf, I was sure, would want to be there when the time came, and so would Mr. Keylock. He made me promise to take him upstairs to watch. So at last, on the evening of the 18th of August, the three of us made our way up to Billy's bedroom, and lo and behold, there he was, already flying around. Billy the bird. Hello, Mary, he cried as he swooped over our heads. Hello, Lily Leaf. Hello, Mr. Keylock. My heart was thumping, and Mr. Keylock's red moustaches bristled, and Lily Leaf's green eyes glowed as we watched. So, fascin so fascinated were we that I quite forgot to close the window, and suddenly Billy flew out through it and away. And that's the end of chapter two. Chapter three, I wonder what will happen next. What will happen now that Billy's flown out of the window? Wait and see. See you soon. Bye.